Hello, welcome to another episode of Short and Sweet TV. In this episode, we'll be looking at InDesign and InDesign's tab function. Probably one of the most common places that we need the tab function is when we're putting together a table of contents for a publication. Now at the moment, I can tell that I've actually got some tabs existing in this document because I've got my show hidden characters option active. As you can see here, I've got these blue characters that are showing up. So these are the hidden characters that you don't see when this is sent to print. If I go up to type and scroll down to the bottom here, you can see I've got the ability here to show or hide hidden characters. So these represent the tabs um, and these are a paragraph return here at the end. So what I'm going to do is just adjust where these tabs have been set. So at the moment, these are sitting far too close uh, to the content. So I want to move these all the way across to the right hand side. So to start off, I'm just going to grab my type tool and then just select the text that I'm going to adjust, come up to type and scroll down to tabs. So it's here that I see my tabs panel and it's because of this tabs panel, I'm able to adjust or due to this tabs panel, I'm able to adjust uh, the tab stop. Now this is the tab stop that I've got sitting here. If I click and drag that all the way across um, to the end here, maybe even a little bit further across. At the moment, it's aligning to the right. I've got different alignment options here. I can align them center so that all of the numbers align center or even align them to the left. Um, what I'm going to do is align them to the right so that they're nice and flush against the edge there. There we go. Now they are sitting a fair distance from the content on the left hand side here. So what I would like to do is put in a leader. So a leader is just a series of dots that will draw a line from the content to the page number. So to do that, once again, I'm just going to select all of the text with the type tool and then coming up here, making sure that I've got that tab stop active there by clicking on it and selecting it. And then I can come across and just clicking this leader box. So now it's just a case of putting in a character that I'd like to use as a leader. And traditionally, we normally use periods or stops. So I'm going to hit the period there and then just hit return and I'll just click in there. So there you have it. We've now got a leader that runs from the content on the left all the way to the right hand side. So that's a quick introduction into how tabs can make your life a lot easier when you're trying to align text, especially when you're working with things like tables of contents. Well, you've hopefully found this video helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next short and sweet TV video.